Okay, so this video is an attempt to um, explain, I guess, my understanding of the water flow through the Universal Atomic Four Marine Engine and um, why I think uh, water flow uh, was the cause for my burnt valve. So here's the block and here's the head which you could see would go on like that. So I've got the head here in an attempt to show which passages are actually contributing to water flow and which passages are not contributing to water flow. And of course I'm making a mess here. So let's put this side by side so we can and I'll do I guess an analysis. So here's the water jacket. Now that uh, brings most of the cooling water to the block. And so water passages on the engine, on the block itself. Now that's a stud, stud, stud threads. So all the stud threads are not going to provide any water passage. Here is a water passage that doesn't provide any cooling to the engine or to the head. Now how do I know that? Because if you take a look over at the corresponding holes on the stud, you can see this stud hole matches up with this stud. And you can see this is a water passage. Now if you look over here, there is no water passage hole over here. Likewise with this water passage, which would correspond to right here. And if I had a better camera, you could see that there's basically a shadow of where this would have provided some cooling. And there's a little bit of rust on here. And maybe in old heads, there was actually holes in here um, that did provide cooling to the head. But, uh, I guess not in modern days. Now, whether it was actually ever used for cooling, I'm not sure. But I call that now a clean-out. So basically, you can clean out the water jacket through here. But it provides no cooling to the head over here. So, there's cooling passages here. This one, you can see, corresponds to here this one corresponds to here and so on and so forth down the line all along the manifold side here. Now in my case exhaust valve number two the cooling passage next to that one was blocked between these two stud holes. I had to bore it out with a screwdriver. I think the blockage is what actually caused my burnt valve. But the reason that I'm going to be cutting down the head studs, if you take a look at a new head stud, the one on the right is new. There's about eight or nine threads. The one on the left is one that I removed from one of these stud holes. And you can see it has somewhat eroded away to the point where only about four, three or four threads are actually doing any work um, to providing the hold, to holding the head down uh, onto the block. So what I'm going to do, and since it's practically eroded already, is just cut all the studs down that go into the water jacket cooling passages along the manifold side um, to provide better flow. 
Now the depth of this portion of the water jacket measures to be about three quarters of an inch. A new stud with eight or nine threads is about a half an inch. An old stud with this erosion or corrosion or whatever you want to call it, um, which has already lost about half of its threads in a couple of years. The useful part of the stud, four threads, is about a quarter of an inch. So by cutting that back, I'm providing, I think, twice as much flow between each of the water passages because water is going to flow through here past the stud into the next passage and so on down the line. So I think by getting rid of that portion I'm going to provide nice full flow through the manifold side of the water jacket. Now as far as other cooling passages on the block that correspond to some useful cooling passages on the head we have this passage which does nothing except to me it becomes somewhat of a clean out. Um, the reason I say it does nothing is because if you go over here you can see the shadow of where it hits the head and there's no hole there. Now there's also another shadow of other I guess what you would call clean out water passages or clean out holes. There's one here, one here. So those provide no cooling for the head. Likewise, this one provides no cooling. That corresponds to this shadow here. Um, this one provides cooling. No cooling. That's a stud hole. This provides cooling. This one provides cooling. This one provides cooling. And this one provides cooling. So if we count those up, we have one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five cooling passages in the water jacket around the cylinders that provide cooling to the head, along with these corresponding passages that actually pass water straight through here. Now, other cooling passages in the engine or on the, in the block are along this line. So there's a straight line of cooling that provides cooling to the number four cylinder and um, water passage, probably allowing water to flow in this direction as well. Um, there's no cooling from starboard to port between three and four. There's no cooling between one and two in this direction or back and forth but there is cooling between two and three so um, you know you can stick I don't know a coat hanger or whatever and you can see that through here you can actually get a thin coat hanger all the way through um, to come out on this side of the engine so um, there is cooling flow through here there is no cooling flow, I, I said that already, between 1 and 2, and there is cooling flow around 1 that can go all the way back to the cooling passages on the uh, manifold side. So, 
Um, that's my understanding. Um, you know, I, I, I tried cleaning out between one and two, but didn't want to get too aggressive in case that would have been a stupid thing. I mean, if you if you do look at so the distance here between one and two, and two and three, there is more distance between two and three. So uh, that's probably as a result of water being able to pass through here. Um, so that's very thin. There's some thickness here, and between three and four is very thin. So there shouldn't be any cooling through here. You shouldn't try to clean out between uh, three and four. Um, and then you can see there's plenty of room here for water to flow through the water jacket in this direction. So that's my understanding. Um, and I will be, if I can, cutting these down because, you know, this part that's already starting to corrode after a couple years does no work. All it does is block I mean, it goes down into that water passage, and it's blocking flow between this passage and this passage. It does no work. All it does is get in the way. Um, and if, you know, it's, if I'm cutting off a quarter of an inch off of a half inch stud, I'm thinking that um, the flow is going to double, um, which, you know, in the future could. Um, save me and everybody else from uh, having burnt fouls. So that's my understanding.